almost on the atomic chart. And it doesn't take much of a gap in order to have a leak in, in a uh, quick disconnect. And, and there are soft goods in there between, between the mechanical plates. And um, sometimes it just takes a little bit of a, a, um, a cold soak on, on both sides of that interface. Or if there's a little bit of uh, differential heating on either side of that, it can actually cause a little bit of a gap. Um, so uh, the, team, the team has experience with this. Our cryo team um, is, is very good at understanding the thermodynamics going on as well as the, the, um, the timing of it relative to how long there's been fluid flow. And, and they, they basically recommended uh, when we initially saw the leak on the 8-inch QD to stop flow because when you have hydrogen leaking, it creates a flammability hazard. So they stopped flow and then they slowly increased it, as, as Jim described, um, through some manual uh, flow procedures. And they just kind of slowly let the fluid through slowly let it through to chill both sides of that interface. And some, in some cases, uh, you can actually uh, thermally condition both sides of that such that they'll, they'll seal up and seat properly. And, and that's what the team did today. And it, it's, it's kind of a delicate balance. You, you, wanna, you wanna fill this thing as fast as you can to achieve your launch window. But when you run into a problem like that, you need to slow it down. And when you slow it down, uh, you can achieve the, uh, the the proper ceiling and proper seating. So, um, it, it was it was um, again a, a little bit of a little bit of uh, science and a little bit of art that that our that our um, team worked through today by healing that uh, that hydrogen leak. Warren Grosh, Bloomberg.